All right, this is a video of my uh, 3D printer made of the trash printing. Um, right now it's printing a uh, lens adapter to adapt uh, vintage Canon lenses to Sony E-mount. Um, I sliced the model to test fit and um, I'm printing at fairly conservative uh, speeds. Um, this is black ABS. Uh, the bed temperature is 110 degrees Celsius. The nozzle temp is 240 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, and I don't know exact uh, numbers for the uh, speed and the acceleration, but um, I can go much faster with this uh, for more delicate parts that I want to be sure that the part will fit like the parts for a lens or um, some assembly that will fit in a metal machined part I usually go a little bit slower but I mean it works um, as requested I'm recording this video to you guys it's fairly silent um, the noisiest part are the fans and um, the stepper motors uh, for the x-axis and the y-axis because I didn't use any vibration dampeners and uh, these motors are also scrap uh, from old devices and uh, they are not optimized for this kind of um, micro stepping drives and uh, this kinds of acceleration and speed so they make a little bit of whining noise but overall the most of the noise comes from these um, the moving bed assembly which I made from scrap wood and stuff and sometimes it rattles um, also there is a little bit of slack on these rails uh, basically um, if you can see uh, there are two shafts all right one shaft is um, locked uh, and slides on um, bronze bushings uh, which are very uh, precisely machined and tight the other end uh, however is not um, this end is usually um, uh, given some slack uh, to m be able to move in uh, this direction and uh, that is causing the noise issue in this uh, y-axis I also did um, some preliminary um, um, pressure advance and the um, uh, the other one that I can't remember, which uh, uses an accelerometer, accelerometer to calibrate the resonance frequency. I did that, but uh, considering the whole frame is built very loosely I mean it's it's just connected with a crappy M3 screw considering that um, it's a uh, surprise that it even works this reliably um, and have been worked for over I don't know this in this configuration it, it has been at least like five years minimum and it keeps just working no problems
doing the top uh, top layer I will show the part after it finishes uh, because the bed is moving and I can't uh, get a good video of it and it just doesn't focus very well. Alright, the part just finished printing, um, it is still stuck to the bed. Uh, there are minor stringings of course uh, because the filament is wet and um, the water and ABS doesn't go very well together. So um, I'm trying to show you the print quality as best as I can. I mean, it's fair enough, um, not the best, but certainly usable part. Um, I didn't tweak the top fill, uh, top, uh, uh, what do you call this part on top of the print. Uh, I didn't do anything, it's just uh, two layers. Uh, this part is uh, draft anyways, I'm gonna throw it away, so um, this is what you get out of trash, I mean, let me show you, alright, this is better, see, this is 0.3 millimeters uh, layer height. These artifacts uh, are caused by um, the loose nature of the uh, mechanics of the machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.